Stan Gibalisco here. I've talked about what sine and cosine waves look like uh, in uh, graphs of amplitude versus time. Now I'd like to talk about something a little bit more hypothetical. The tangent uh, wave and the cotangent wave. What you see here is a a graph of the tangent function. On the horizontal axis we have the value or the angle in radians from minus 3 pi radians to plus 3 pi radians. And on the vertical axis the value of the function itself. Same deal with the cotangent function. The angle and the amplitude of the function. These uh, curves here actually have what is called asymptotes. They go off to infinity where the dotted lines are and here in this case where the uh, main amplitude axis is. Here they go off towards positive and negative infinity where the dashed lines are. So these waves can't actually exist in practical circuits because no uh, amplitude can ever really reach infinity. But it can reach the maximum of whatever the power supply that you're using with the circuit can provide. If it's 10 volts, then this would be 10 volts here maximum. If it was a thousand volts, uh, you could theoretically get um, a thousand volts for a tangent wave or a cotangent wave. Uh, uh, pi radians represents 180 degrees of phase, so pi over 2 radians is 90 degrees of phase. Here so we have 90 degrees of phase. The tangent wave starts at zero amplitude and goes to the maximum possible amplitude or voltage at 90 degrees and then abruptly transitions to the negative maximum voltage rises through zero again at pi radians or 180 degrees and then back on up to the maximum where it repeats over and over. So the period of this wave actually is uh, according to what we see here uh, just pi radians or 180 degrees. It repeats itself every 180 degrees of phase with zero amplitude at zero degrees of phase. Now the cotangent function is shifted 90 degrees and it reverses its direction as well. So at zero degrees of phase the function theoretically has an undefined value. Then it starts at the maximum power supply voltage, whatever that might be, maximum positive, goes down to zero at pi over 2 radians or 90 degrees of phase and then on to the negative where it then abruptly transitions to the positive again at 180 degrees of phase or pi radians and just just repeats the whole thing again and again. So the tangent wave would go from minus to plus over and over and over again as high as the power supply could deliver and the cotangent wave from plus to minus over and over and over for as much as the power supply could deliver. And notice also there is a phase difference of 90 degrees. The uh, cotangent wave crosses the zero axis at 90 degrees, 270 degrees, 540 degrees, etc., etc., minus 90, minus uh, 180, minus uh, 240, or 540 degrees. Uh, whereas 
well, well, no, it actually, this represents pi radians. So this is pi over 2, then 270 degrees. Uh, well, you, you figure it out. Pi is 180 degrees of phase. What I'm trying to basically get at generally is that such waves could in fact exist and circuits can be devised that make such waves. Uh, starting here, uh, uh, we have, uh, let's see, one, two, three, 180 degrees of phase. It crosses the zero axis again and again every 180 degrees of phase. And the same deal here every 180 degrees of phase, except its phase shifted and polarity reversed. So <laughs> that's what the waves would look like. They don't go to infinity, obviously, but they go to whatever the maximum and negative power supply voltages would be. Just a little offbeat thought for the day. Kind of has my mind uh, flummoxed a little bit. It's kind of weird. It's always fun to get a little bit weird, isn't it? Stan Gibalisco is signing off. Until next time, so long.